Are you looking for an affordable turbo option for your build? Well, stick around because I got an option for you that's affordable and produces high horsepower. Let's go. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. Max Speeding Rods, a sponsor of the channel, sent us another turbo to try out and also sent us another little goodie. I got a couple parts in the mail as well. Well, let's unbox these things and check them out. Wow! Let's get out our unboxing knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. That's got a little bit of buffalo chicken dip on it. Every man should eat their buffalo chicken dip with a knife. All right, let's, let's dive into this. It's wind up taking the finger off. <laughs> Max Speeding Rods is stepping up their game. Man, look at that. It's, 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 it's indescribably beautiful. No longer have the generic plastic caps. They got their logo on it. And, and ladies and gentlemen, we've got their logo casted into it. So what this is, is a GT3582, just like what I have on the car. It's just kind of like the stock GT3582. However, this is the street performance upgrade. Let's check this out. Here is the main difference. Look at that. So this is a CNC aluminum impeller. And from my understanding, the turbine side can handle 100 degrees more Celsius. I believe it's 900 degrees. I'll post the specs here. It's still a, a journal bearing style turbo. So this will drop right in place where my current turbo is at. And I really won't have to change anything. So this turbo is good for 600 horsepower. But I believe the main difference aside from this thing being able to handle some more temperature is the fact that this is CNC machined and generally billet wheels such as this one, it'll keep the charge temperatures cooler, which theoretically would make more horsepower, but what it will do is keep your detonation down. So this is awesome. In short, that's just fancy folk talk for the impeller is more efficient. Therefore, it makes your intake charge temperatures cooler, which benefits performance. Man, that looks dope. I don't know if you can see that, but if you take a look down inside the turbo, you can see the design is just a little bit different. It's hard to make out on camera because I can't get the focus all the way down in there. There we go. That's a little better. You can see those little marks on the impeller wheel. And so they must have, uh, you know, they came up with their own design. And they were kind enough to send us over a turbo for testing. So we're gonna try out the turbo over here that's on the car, which is their standard GT3582 turbo, rated up to 600 horsepower. So this will be a direct swap for our new turbo that just came in. Some of the other things, it already comes tapped for your boost controller. Yep, still still good casting, still good quality. It's a T3 flange, same as the other turbo, along with the four bolt exhaust housing, same as the other turbo. Let's make sure there's no paraphernalia I forgot. Yeah, here we go. So it also comes with gaskets, which we'll need those once we go ahead and change the thing over. What, they got installation instructions now? Boy, they are stepping it up. Nice, so they've got some instructions that come along with it now. So if you hit a road bump, these are some facts or some troubleshooting facts that you could use in order to troubleshoot your turbo. So the inlet from the compressor side is two and a half inches and the exhaust side is three inches. We've got our standard oil feed here, which already has a restrictor built into it. Coolant passages in and out, and then a, a standard drain. Easy stuff. Should flow pretty well. I've seen similar turbos to what I have on the car over there make close to 600 wheel horse. What turbo do we got? Give 3582. Okay. 620. Power, I'll leave a, a link up here 
same style turbo. But we'll test these back to back on the dyno. Uh, dyno days are kind of expensive to be wrenching. So we might do this turbo one day and this guy another day. I imagine it'll probably take a day just to dial this in. Even after a day's time, sure we can get fueling down, we can get horsepower numbers, we'll play with the timing, but something I probably won't have time to do on the first rental day is adjusting things like the VVT, seeing where it likes it at different RPM ranges just throughout the suite. Lots to look forward to with this car, especially since no one's done this. I mean, I've done it, there's a handful of other people, but to this extent, really see what this thing will do. Potentially send a piston to the moon. Hopefully not. Hopefully the bottom end will blow out before anything else. <laughs> or hopefully it doesn't happen at all and we just get to enjoy this for a long time. I was just about to tuck the turbo away and I found this at the bottom. <coughs> Dang, that one actually held up. Look at that. Huh. You know, if, if I had a... <laughs> If I had a car that had an orange steam on it, oh man, I would definitely consider putting this somewhere on the outside because it's not just a, a regular sticker. It's not your traditional, just kind of vinyl sticker. This is, um, man, I'm gonna have to see if they can do me one in red. Could potentially put it on the other side to balance this out. Uh, we shall see. Did I just make a mistake? Did you say steak? No, mistake. And Max Speeding Rods was kind enough to send me a promo code. It is right here, Matt Chevy. If you're wanting to kickstart your project, your turbocharged project, they have all kinds of other goodies as well. In which, let's go ahead and take a look at one of those goodies to send over. Wow! Next up. Packaged very nicely. It's a 58 millimeter blow off valve. Here's the bung for it to go onto the intercooler piping. Thing I liked about this was the fact that it was V band. The HKS knockoff that I have, man, it just, those things are a pain in the butt to get on and off. And I'm realizing I'm just not a, that big a fan of whistles. Nope. So I want to try something else. Here's our V band clamp, O ring, and then plumbing for the vacuum and boost signal to the wastegate. Keep this thing shut. And this is good for up to 35 pounds. I imagine we'll be running in the low 20s PSI wise with, with our turbo and our compression. So we got everything to hook this thing up with. All the intercooler piping we need. If, you, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know I was complaining in the previous update that the intercooler, the eBay stuff, I wanted to weld it together. There's nothing wrong putting it together with couplers, but I want all these pipes to, to butt up, create the least amount of turbulence. There's, it's little things like that that will make a difference in performance, how the thing flows. So we got all of our tubing, looks nice. I'll leave a link down to where I got it. But what I wanted to see was, all right, so it does look like this might be for a little bit smaller pipe. Hey, that's what she said. But that's okay. Uh, this will still work well. We'll just grind a little off and seed it. This is all the tubing we need in order to complete our intercooler piping setup. Charge piping, whatever you want to call it. If you saw the previous video, my complaint with the eBay kit stuff, it's about one millimeter and this is two. Let me show you the difference again, real quick. Just look at the difference in thickness. This will be much easier to weld. A huge thank you to Max Speeding Rods. Support the guys that support the channel and they'll keep swinging stuff our way. Tell Macy down in the comments, thank you for swinging some more stuff my way. We still have lots to come. We're gonna finish up the intake, the charge piping, do our fuel, and then it's time to do some road testing, road tuning, and hopefully we can find a place here locally. It's Houston, lots of them. I'm sure we can. And then we'll start doing some dyno numbers. Awesome stuff on the way. Just. Do what it. are we doing in here? While well, you're gonna wake up and work hard at it, nothing is you know, impossible. I didn't say it was impossible. You said tomorrow, so just and it just takes do time, it. dude. Make Chill your out. Dreams come true. Just you know what? Get out of here. Either help out or get out of here. Here. 
Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, peace out with your peace out.